Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Grounded Life Finances and we are Ali and Rob and today we are sharing with you our stock portfolio. We are in 2023 and this is the second quarter. So what all do we have? Yeah, so before <laughs> we jump into exactly what they are, I want to give a couple of words of advice if you're doing this. First thing is when you buy your stocks, if you're getting a lump sum like we did, from selling all your possessions. You want a dollar cost average in. Put a little bit in each month for a few months mm -hmm. so you don't all have it in at don't once. Don't just shove it all in there at once. <laughs> Second thing is that we prescribe to is we try to be fully invested all the time. We don't buy stuff and sell it and wait for a better price then sell it again, buy it, sell it. We mm -hmm. just have all our money in at once because over time that's gonna be the best thing to do. Right. Don't try to time the market. Uh, and then try not to sell any of these stocks unless you see a real big change that would mean this company is no longer going to be viable or good. <laughs> that does happen. I mean, during, you know, some recent world events, some companies lost favor and that, that can happen. So I'm not saying never sell. But unless there's a reason to sell, we don't just sell because we think the price might go up or down right. because we just don't know. Uh, and then the last one is, is that we use the dividends that we earn from these stocks to buy more stocks. So right. hopefully we can get a bigger portfolio in the end. Yes. So with that said, <laughs> here are the stocks that we own. We're going to run through them quick. I'm going to tell you what we bought them at, what they're currently at, and if it was a good or bad investment. <laughs> now, the thing is, we don't want you to write, run out, write out and buy each of these stocks because we think these are all good companies, but they need to be bought at the right price. Mm -hmm. So you may want to do a little research. We'll mm -hmm. have some videos on that of when yeah. the right time to buy them is. And also remember that we are not financial advisors. This is just what we do for ourselves personally. So you always have to do your own research before you put your money into the market. Yeah. Uh, our first stock that we have is Adobe, uh, Adobe Photoshop. And this is one that we <laughs> That's bought. An easy yeah. one to, to invest in because it's something that we use very often. Yeah. Now, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Adobe, we have we bought it at 380 and it is 380. So <laughs> we've earned 0% on this stock. <laughs> And that's okay because we're, we're playing this for the long term. I would say if you find anybody that tells you that every stock over there has made money, don't listen to them because they're <laughs> lying. You know, if you pick 20 stocks, you're lucky if 14 or 50 of them are, are yeah. good and four or five are bad. That's good. So don't get too worried about that. In the same uh, regard, we do have Amazon. I think that's a great stock to have. We did buy it at 107 and it is now at 103. So mm -hmm. again, we just bought it recently. It's kind of fluctuated a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, I think this is a good time for Amazon though. Next one we have is B-A-T-R-K, which is Batter K. This is kind of a funny one because it's the Atlanta Braves stock. <laughs> you could actually own stock in the Atlanta Braves. <laughs> and if you know we're from Atlanta, we're big Braves fans. So it's, this one was more kind of a fun one. More kind of a fun one. So, <laughs> so yeah, we bought some for each of us. Unfortunately, it's like one of the best performing stocks we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> because we bought it when uh, baseball, there was no fans. And we bought it at $13.63, and now it is worth $35.68 a share for a 161% increase. So, yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> Probably should have bought more, not just for fun. Uh, next one we have is Disney. And Disney's done pretty well for us. We bought it at uh, $92.00. It's at $98, 6%. That's okay. We haven't had it very long. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Next one is Google, and that is a, a, a good stock. We've had that for quite a while. We keep adding to that position, actually. Uh, our average cost for Google is $67, and it is now at $105. Uh, it's a 56% increase. So. That's really not bad. And, I mean, Google, that just makes sense. They're going in a good direction. Yeah. Okay, here's probably our, our worst one that we have, and that's <laughs> PayPal. Uh, not that it's a terrible stock. We just bought it when it was too high, mm -hmm. but I, I think it'll be fine long term. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we paid $92, and it is worth 73 at the moment for a 20% mm -hmm. loss. Uh, next up is Take-Two Interactive. 
And if you don't know who they are, the, the ticker is TTWO. They are the company that makes the Grand Theft Auto, uh, the video <laughs> the game. The video game. <laughs> and so there's another one of those coming out soon. Which if you are a gamer or you have someone close to you as a gamer and likes this game, you would understand why we have this one. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's actually done well. We've we've paid uh, 114 and it is up to 125 so that's good. Uh, Next up is one of our bigger positions is Microsoft, and that's done very well. We've paid two forty four for that, and it is now at two eighty six. Mm -hmm. That is one that I would recommend getting into, but not at this price. It's too expensive right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, a little too high. But you do have to ask yourself: Microsoft's not going away. They're anymore. not going away. They're not going anywhere. We also have AbV, which is a pharmaceutical company. Uh, we did pay $113 for this, and it is at $161, so 56%. I think there are some rough days ahead for this company, though, so <laughs> I'm not sure how good it's going to do. Uh, in our travels, we see McDonald's everywhere, right? Everywhere. We have yet to go somewhere and not see McDonald's. In a, we've been to over 50 countries and not not been to one without one. And our view of McDonald's overseas is way better than in the U.S. It's like 100 really great restaurant overseas. So, uh, as a so, matter of fact, we rarely frequent it in the U.S. Right. <laughs> so that was some market research. Uh, we do have McDonald's. We paid 235 on average, and it's worth 291 right now for a 25 percent uh, increase. That is one. Again, it's a great company if it comes down in price. Qualcomm, C, uh, Q C O M, Qualcomm, they make uh, wireless communications devices. We have had this one for a long, long time. It was one of our original stocks. We mm -hmm. paid $49 for it, and it is now worth $118 mm -hmm. for 155% increase. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, the thing that I want to make mm -hmm. is that. These are not stocks. I We do not care what they do day to day. We care what they do 10 years from now. This is one that we've had probably 7 to 10 years. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you hold these stocks for 7 years, they're all going to probably be up 100%. So that's just how you do it. You'll have a couple of clunkers, but <laughs> you know these ones that you say, oh, I wish I could get in on that, you, you will get in on it. If you're buying them now, hold them. They'll do well. Mm -hmm. uh, next is Main Street Capital, M-A-I-N. We have this for the dividend because it is a high dividend stock. Uh, our yield on cost for that is 8%. But we paid, let's see, $34, and it's worth almost 40 now for a 20% increase. Cummins uh, Manufacturing, they make engines. We've driven by this, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. Numerous times. <laughs> Numerous times. It's on the road to somewhere that we go. Yeah, I don't remember where, though. <laughs> and this is another one that we've had for a long, long, long time. We've paid $115 for this, mm. and it's worth 234 now. Yeah. 118% increase. Again, you see the trend that the longer you have something, the better it's going to be for you. Correct. That's why we don't jump in and out. <laughs> JP Morgan is our next stock. It's obviously a bank. And we paid $104, and it's now worth $140, and that's 36% up. Now, this one we actually haven't had very long. It actually went up 36% in, like, the mm. last year or so. Mm -hmm. So that was just good timing. And whenever there's a, a big market crash or a huge dip, we tend to swoop in and buy everything and then just let it sit. And that's what we did with that one, and it did work. Uh, this is one of our longest-owned stocks, United <laughs> Health Group. It is an insurance company, and uh, we bought it for $225. It is now worth $487 a share. So, again, 123% increase. Uh, any stocks you would have bought during 2020, pretty much, unless the company went under, they're going to be up like this much. Mm -hmm. so yes. You do need to look for that. Yeah. It was a dangerous time to, to dip in. Yeah, it but, felt dangerous, but, yeah. But yeah, it felt dangerous, but wasn't but necessarily wasn't dangerous. because of that unknown factor. So yeah. what do we what else do we have here? Uh, we've got Starbucks. This is one of our bigger positions, and we have an average cost of seventy-five dollars and it's now worth one oh seven for a forty-four percent increase. 
I know you do a lot of market research there for <laughs> us. <laughs> Me and our daughter, the two of us, we do quite a bit of market research for you. <laughs> We've got Cisco Systems. Uh, this one paid $38. It's now worth $46. That's 30%. Not that great, though, because we've had it for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. You'll notice all those other companies were at, like, over 100%. Mm -hmm. This one is at 30%, so <laughs> I wouldn't say it really it's has like, done <laughs> all that well. Uh, AT&T is another one we've had for a long, long time, and it, again, we've only made 4% on this one, so barely anything. Uh, we actually paid $23, and it's only worth 17 now, but we've had it for so long that we've made so many dividends that it's actually outweighed mm -hmm. the loss right so. yeah <laughs> thank goodness for the dividend on that one <laughs> not that great uh bristol myers squib we paid 65 dollars. it's now at 69 dollars 15 percent it's not bad uh let's see blackrock has been another pretty decent one they are a financial services company Paid $610 a share, and it is now $696 a share, mm. 17%. Uh, Elevance Health Incorporated, they are another healthcare company, and I've even forgotten who they used to be. They weren't Elevance when we bought them. <laughs> they were someone else, and they, they turned into this company. So we've had them for a while. Again, 122% increase on this wow. one. So that's, that's uh, really quite good. Visa, which is one of my favorite stocks, <laughs> uh, it's we bought it at 185 and it's now at 234, 27%. But Visa, I mean, they're everywhere. Uh, right? <laughs> I think that might be their slogan. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Something along those lines. Uh, this is this one we're doing for the dividend. It's called Realty Income, and they own a bunch of uh, properties that they rent to people, and and it's good. They pay you a dividend every month. We uh, we paid fifty eight dollars for it. It's now at almost sixty two, so it's an eight percent increase. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we just got it this year. Actually, we bought it when we were in Bali, uh, so it's less than a year ago, mm -hmm. and it's it's doing well. And I think it's going to pay us dividends for quite some time. Uh, let's see, Kroger, another stock we've had for a long time. I remember we bought this a long time ago. Uh, $28 per share we paid. It's now worth $47.80 for a 77% increase. Uh, now we're getting into some of our favorite stocks, Lowe's. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we paid $185. It's now worth $209. That, that's still a good stock to get that into. That is, yes. It's still okay to get into it. I mean, home improvements, it's not going to go anywhere. Right. And so we also have Home Depot. Same thing with Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> and again, another company from Atlanta. <laughs> so, yeah, we paid 279 for Home Depot. Mm. It's now worth 298 8% increase. Uh, we have got Skyworks Solutions here. And this one was down for a while. They are basically in semiconductors. They kind of are cyclical with how Apple is doing or what they think they're going to be doing. And we paid $100 for it. It's at 108 so a 10% increase. We've also got Verizon, uh, which is, you know, your phone company. Not a lot of growth in that stock, but they, they people do pay their phone bill every month, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Uh, so we paid $34. It's worth $37. They're not going uh, anywhere. Dollars. Domino's Pizza. We've got some of Domino's Pizza. That's actually one that's negative for us. We mm. paid... 335 and it is now worth 322 mm. so that was not a winner <laughs> but i do think it still will be mm -hmm. uh, maybe because we don't really eat domino's pizza <laughs> maybe we're, we're just we're dragging it down more. single-handedly uh next one is also one that we've lost on it is uh ugi corporation natural gas and you do want to be diversified in all this. you got to have these kind of companies. Not everything is going to do well. Yeah. Just the way it is. Yeah. And, I mean, that's what you were saying earlier is that, you know, it's going to ebb and flow, and not everything is going to be in the positive. So it's not bad. Yeah. What is this one at? We paid $45, and it's at $35. Yikes. So minus 16%. <laughs> uh, the good news is there's no, like, minus 100%, but there's a lot that's of good. plus 100%. Yes. <laughs> Okay, FedEx, uh, love FedEx as a stock. Mm. 
Paid one hundred seventy nine dollars for it. It's now worth two twenty nine. So that's a thirty percent increase. We do love FedEx. <laughs> we have Comcast. That's one of our bigger positions, and you know, I, I don't know why, because a lot of people really don't like Comcast, but everyone pays their bill. So Comcast <laughs> makes a lot of money. They're still winning. <laughs> and we paid uh, thirty three dollars. It's worth thirty seven dollars. That's a fifteen percent increase. <clears throat> uh, Walgreens Boots Alliance. This is funny because we know Walgreens, but we didn't know Boots Alliance until we went overseas, right? So Boots is... Yes, and Boots is essentially like a Walgreens overseas. And we've been in, in Boots pharmacies all over the place. Singapore, Thailand, in the UK, and at different places. It, just a lot of places, really. You'll find Boots. If you've been overseas, you'll see Boots all over the place. Yeah. Uh, our average cost is $32, and it is now worth $35. Not bad for Walgreens. Not bad. <laughs> uh, Ally Financial Bank. We just got this pretty recently, and it's only up 3%. So not much to say about that. Fairly new. Uh, Stanley Black & Decker Tools. Whew, this one was rough. <laughs> but I still think it As can one come, might imagine. This still can come <laughs> back. It's it's down 16%, though, So since we bought it. So mm. that's not been great. Mm -hmm. um, we also have... Medical Properties Trust, which is a REIT. Uh, they own hospitals, and they are down 11%. Uh, then our last one here is Global Payments. They're a payment processor, and they're just up 1% uh, since we got it this year. So those kind of, they're recent purchases, mm -hmm. and not much to do. Yeah, not much to report there. I think overall, <laughs> though, we just wanted to let you know what we have. If you're thinking of some ideas to get into, we have all those because we think they're good. I just want to caution you, make sure you get them at a good price, not when they're at a historical high, right. more when they're at a 52-week low or historical low. Mm -hmm. That's when we tend to look at them, right? Because yeah. we're not getting in and out. Right. Research is important because you want to jump in. At, you know, it's like jumping into a double dutch. You want to do the research so that when you get in there, you're not going to fall. So you do your research so that you, you pick out the what will work for you at a good price and that, you know, a company you can kind of reconcile yourself with, okay. Yeah, and then the other thing is hold them. Just hold them for as long as you possibly mm -hmm. can. If you hold them for 5, 10, 15 years, and you look at your portfolio, you'll notice that most of them are up 70, 80, 100, 150% mm -hmm. because the market's gone up, and you really, nothing you would have bought unless they went out of business would have been a negative return over right. that 15 year period. So yeah, that's just some insight into what we have. Hope that's been helpful for you. We get that question a lot. We do, yeah. <laughs> and that's really a, a big reason why we did start Ground to Life Finances is to kind of share a little insight on that and how we use finances to our advantage in order to do what we do, which is travel the world full time. Uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, give us a like. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down in the comments.